Hi, in this video, I'm looking at simplifying algebraic factorial fractions. So for example, if I look at my first problem, I'm going to have n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial. And we want to simplify this down to something as simple as we can get, just as few bracketed terms as we can. Now to do this, these expressions are simply using n as a counting number for, say, n factorial. And we know that n factorial, for if, if I have 4 factorial, means to do 4, then the next number down, then the next number down, and then the next number down until we reach 1, multiplying them as we go. n factorial can be written in its notation as start off with n, multiply by the next number down. The next number down would be whatever n was, take away 1. For example, 4 take away 1 would give us 3. And we can keep going using n as our starting number. Well, to get to this number, I've got to do n minus 1 minus 1 again, or n take away 2. And this would just keep going. I then have n take away 3, and so forth. So if I look at this, where I'm already starting at n take away 2, that means I'm going to start at n take away 2, and then multiply by the next number down, which is n take 3, and then multiply by the next number down, n take 4, and then the next, and so on and so forth. And so if we do the same for our denominator, we're starting at n minus 4, they're going to go one number down, then one number down, and so on and so forth. And where writing it out using this notation helps us is if we look, I now have an n minus 4 on the top and an n minus 4 on the bottom. And so I can cancel out these two terms because n take 4 will be the same number as n take 4. And so therefore they just divide to 1. And n minus 5 will cancel. And the n minus 6 will cancel with an n minus 6 that's up the top. And we basically we'll just keep cancelling down until we reach 1. So that means that all I'm left with for n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial is just n minus 2 times n minus 3. And that's where we would leave it. If I knew what n was, I could work it out. Maybe if I had another side of the equation, I might be interested in doing some algebra to try and find n. But for now, that's where we're just going to leave it. So let's have a look at a second one. What if I have n plus 3 factorial over n factorial? Well, if we start with our denominator, because we've already looked at that, n factorial is just going to be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on and so forth until we reach 1. On our numerator, we're starting with n plus 3 and then I need the next number down. Well, the next number down will be n plus 2 because n plus 3 is whatever n was. Go up 1, 2, 3 and then the next number down will be back 1, which is n plus 1 plus 2. So that's basically what we've done there to arrive at what we want. And so our next number down again will be n plus 1, and then next we have n. And then we're going to have n minus 1, n minus 2, etc, etc. And we now have our expressions written out as much as we need, because we can now see that on my numerator, I'm starting with n, so they're going to cancel. Then the n minus 1s are going to cancel, then the n minus 2s are going to cancel, and everything else will cancel. And so that's going to leave us with the final answer of n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1. Let's do one last one. So this one, I've got n minus 2 
factorial divided by n plus 2 factorial. So if I have a look at the numerator for this one, we're starting with n minus 2, and we're going to work our way down to n take away 3, then n take away 4, and so on and so forth. With the denominator, we're starting at n plus 2, which the next number down will be n plus 1, then n will be left on its own, and then we're going to have n minus 1, then n minus 2, n minus 3. We might as well stop there, because I can see that we're starting to get the same as what I've got in the numerator. We can see that I've got an n minus 2 to cancel the n minus 2. The n minus 3 to cancel the n minus 3, and everything else will just cancel out going down. Now, that means that we're left with 1 on the numerator this time over everything we haven't cancelled out. n plus 2, n plus 1, n, and then n minus 1. And that's our final answer. And the reason, remember, of course, we have 1 on the numerator is because these have all divided down to 1, leaving us a product of 1s on the numerator. But there we have it. If we've got algebraic fractorials, usually using n being our counting number, we can use the definition of n, which helps us move from number to number, and then just look at what terms cancel out and write whatever's left over.